I always hate university because I think it's really useless for those who want to become a real programmer. After these 4 years when I turn a look back, I can only see myself trying to copy during exams because it's really painful when you have to learn useful things which you will never use in your entire life. So I really improved my cheating skills by studying in university. Yeah, and that's what I learned so far. I'm not trying to say don't go to university, but at least you should improve your programming skills while you're studying. But don't expect anything from them, just try to become self-taught programmer. It's the best way to learn how to code. Alright, now we can focus on main topic of this video. As you see from the title, I will try to create a program which can help me to pass some of university exams. Hopefully. I'm recording this video before the exam date, so today is 17th of January and exam will held on 20th of January. So I decided to take the risk and build something that can automatically do it for me. Well, I will start to research about how I can build this kind of automation, is that really possible? I don't know, we will see. You know, after a lot of research, I think I can visualize the algorithm inside my mind. One thing is clear, it's impossible to search questions on internet during exam, but actually I can take picture quickly when examiner turns his back. That's the first part of algorithm. Or cheating plan. Somehow I need to extract the question from the picture, so I just googled how to extract text from the picture. It seems there's a lot of services which can handle text extraction, but I need some kind of API to solve the problem. Finally, Google's Vision API was the exact tool that I'm looking for. The great thing is, first, 1000 API calls is free for each month, which is quite enough to me to test and use the API. After creating Google Cloud account, I dived into Vision API to see how it's working. First, I started to install some dependencies and set up API credentials, then just copy pasted the code from documentation to see the result. Now time to download a picture of some meaningless multiple choice question. Like this for example. It says, wait what? Which of the following is an acceptable use of public computer? Of course the answer is sending sensitive information. So the first part is done, now I need to search the only question part on Google to get list of information, otherwise Google will detect that's meaningless and will return nothing. Generally questions ending with question mark. Um, I mean test. What the hell I'm talking about? Yeah, usually it's ending with question mark and colon. To get the question part, I used a regex library, so it's taking everything before these symbols as a search query. Alright, so I installed Beautiful Soup to search the question on Google and crawl the content of first three results, because the answer probably locates in one of them. Additionally, if you want to crawl particular data from Google, don't use inspect element to find attributes of elements. Instead, print the whole page to see class names or IDs, because it's different from the actual one. Okay then, that was the progress of the first day and I hope I can finish it before the exam or I have to pay 200 euros for conditional retake next year. God, that's really expensive, assume that I'm paying my one month rent fees to university. It's even worse than uploading programming memes on reddit. I'm still confused about the algorithm and I don't know where it goes exactly. Should I have to start to learn laws? Anyway, that's the main part of the algorithm. After crowding the information from first three results, program should detect the answer by iterating through documents. First, I thought it's better to use similarity algorithm to detect the documents which is the most similar to question, but I had no any idea how to implement it. After hours of researching, I found an article in Medium which explains question answering system with Python. Then I just said, I was like, wow, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> this guy explains everything perfectly, and he built easy to use Python package to implement QI system on your own private data. I will put the article link in the description of this video so you can go and check for more explanation. Let's first install the package and test it, then I will quickly explain you what's going on here. I'm downloading pre trained models and data manually by using download functions. Thank you. 
and run. That's really cool. It prints the exact answer and paragraph which includes the answer. So basically, when question extracted from the picture and sent to the system, the retriever will select a list of documents from crawled data that are most likely to contain the answer. As I stated before, it computes the cosine similarity between the question and each document in the crawled data. After selecting the most probable documents, the system divides each document into paragraphs and sends them with the question to the reader which is basically pre-trained deep learning model. The model used was the PyTorch version of the well-known NLP model BERT. BERT. B-E-R-T. Yeah. Then the reader outputs the most probable answer it can find in each paragraph. After the reader, there's a final layer in the system that compares the answers by using internal score function and outputs the most likely one according to the scores, which will the answer of our question. You have to set your data frame like this structure, but actually I used PDF converter to create an input data frame from a directory of PDF files. So I'm going to save all crawl data in PDF files for each result. We will have three PDF files in total. Additionally, we need to name these PDF files, that's why I crawled the heading of each page. Well, if I summarize the algorithm, it will extract a question from the picture search it on Google, crawl first three results, create three PDF files from the crawled data, and finally find the answer using the question answering system. Now it's time to run it. The question is which theory is known as Einstein theory? Mind blowing! Is it really worked? Let me check the answers. It's working! Theory of relativity. I can't believe it worked, so I have to run a few tests more to make sure it's working properly. Hmm, it seems it can confuse sometimes, but generally it's okay, I think. At least I can pass the exam with 60% of right answers.
All right, then, devs. Please tell me in comments what do I what do you think about it. Actually, it's better to iterate through questions at once, so I don't need to take picture of for each question. But unfortunately, I don't have enough time to do it, so it's better to keep that for next time.